there is a coil and this coil is fitted in such a way that it is free to rotate there is a coil and this coil is free to rotate this way okay now this coil is kept in a magnetic field here is a magnetic field between north to south and we have kept this coil here and we are rotating it when we are rotating it where is the area vector this is the area vector then this is the magnetic field and when it rotates you see the angle between the two 90 it has become zero again it has become 90 again it has become zero so 0 90 180 like this up to 360 this will keep on rotating like this the angle is always changing so when we say the angle is changing the physical condition is that a coil is rotating in a magnetic field and its principal condition is the angle is changing okay so this is the coil which is rotating in a magnetic field this angle keeps on changing does it make any difference answer yes it makes a difference because the flux linked to this coil we know the definition is for the flux b into a but we have made n turns here so the total flux become n b a this is the flux linked with it but because this is not at right angle we would like to write the complete uh, magnitude that phi is equal to n b a cos theta theta is angle between area vector and magnetic field b this is direction of the magnetic field and it is a straight magnetic field uniform magnetic field now this is rotating with the angular velocity omega now when it starts from time zero and after one second it will be displacement will be one after two second two omega after three second three omega and after t second omega into t so it has rotated for t second if it has rotated for t second then the angle theta is equal to velocity into time okay it is rotating with uniform velocity omega so what is this uniform angular velocity angular velocity of coil okay this is axis and the coil is rotating this way okay now you can realize when the coil is rotating in this direction here no flux is linked to it when it rotates 100 percent flux is linked to it again no flux again 100 percent flux so once flux linked is zero one it is phi zero minus phi zero plus phi zero minus phi so flux keeps on changing and due to change of flux an emf is induced between these two and that is the emf we want to calculate so anytime flux is this much due to rotation flux keep changing and therefore e is equal to d phi by dt we can always find out this induced emf e is equal to minus d phi by dt this is differentiation with respect to time of the phi so e is equal to minus d by dt of phi differentiation with respect to time of phi and phi is this and b a cos in place of theta now we can write omega t so that this becomes a function of time at one time the value is zero when the coil is like this magnetic field like this and at other time the value is full because cos theta has become one 
because it is rotating. So, it is a function of time, we write it this way. Now, if we differentiate n constant, b constant, a constant, these are the quantities which are not changing during rotation. So, only cos omega t is the variable term. So, we can write here minus n b a. Cos omega t differentiation is sin omega t into omega. So, this is n b a omega sin omega t. Okay. So, differentiation of cos omega t is sin omega t with negative sign. If it has differentiated with negative sign, that negative into this negative will become positive. So, this is n b a omega sin omega t. This is emf at any time. Okay. Now, this emf keeps changing with time. This time starts from 0. For full rotation, it is capital T. So, 0, 1 fourth T, 1 T, 3 fourth T and full T. Now, this T has got 4 positions or say 360 degree, it rotates. When this E will be maximum? E is maximum. When this sine function is maximum. And when is this sign? How much is the maximum value of sine omega t? Answer 1. E is maximum when sine omega t is equal to 1. Okay. The condition when sine omega t is equal to 1, at that time E will be maximum. And this maximum E we denote by E naught or E max. How much will be that? N B A omega n b a omega and this has become 1 1 so this is value of peak value of emf generated in any coil so when any coil is rotating in a magnetic field the emf generated here is not a constant quantity this is very important please remember this emf is not a single value this keeps on changing with time during the rotation. Two times it is zero, two times it is maximum, minimum and this. So, this is the equation which gives the variation of E with respect to time. And the maximum value it attained is this, the minimum value it attains is zero. Okay. So, N B A omega is equal to E naught. Now, this N B A omega is here. So, this whole thing we replace with E naught and we get the famous equation E is equal to E naught sin omega t. This is E is equal to E naught sin omega t. And this is the magical equation which controls total electromagnetism that when this is rotating, when a coil is rotating, EMF is generated here and this EMF is E naught sin omega t. If we want to find out current, we connect it with a load or resistance, then a current will start flowing. How can we find out that current? Divide EMF, divide voltage with resistance both sides if we divide with resistance then this formula will become i is equal to i is equal to i naught sin omega t this is variable current produced this is variable emf produced by rotating a coil within a magnetic field a uniform magnetic field and this keeps on changing. How it changes? What are the changes? What are its properties? This makes a very interesting electric current and this is the electric current we are using here in our household. This is the electric current which is produced in our country. There we have a coil which is rotating in within magnetic field and this we call a powerhouse. 
So there are all powerhouses all over our country. They are using this principle. The coil is rotating. Everywhere the coil is rotating with a fixed omega and that omega is 3000 rounds per minute, 50 rounds per cycle everywhere in India and we are getting this EMF and in the next lecture we will calculate what is the peak value of EMF in India. This is the basic fundamental principle of electricity generator. This electricity which is generated its EMF is continuously changing. So this EMF is different from EMF given by a battery given by a cell. So you are using a battery in a mobile that gives a constant EMF, that gives a constant current, continuously same type of current. But our generators which we are using in our household, in our bulb, fan, everything, they are giving a current which is continuously changing. Sometimes this current is zero, sometimes it reach maximum value, again they become zero. Then this current reverse down become in the opposite direction maximum and then again it becomes zero. This is the current time graph and this type of current we give it another name we call it alternating current. So just after this we start our next chapter that is alternating current. This is the base of alternating current. How alternating current is produced? This is by electromagnetic induction. Whose electromagnetic induction? A coil rotating in a magnetic field. And what is this machine known as? This machine is known as AC generator, electricity generator. Our first topic for the next chapter is alternating current generator, AC generator, which is using this principle. So now we have observed that we can get induced EMF by three methods, moving a magnet, changing the magnetic flux linked to a coil that I told you. Other is motional EMF, changing the area, making EMF. Third, rotating of the coil, changing the flux and inducing an EMF. So these are the three methods by changing we can find out EMF and all these three have practical implication in our life, in our day to day life. So this is what we have done and now in the other chapters we will see a very important phenomena which is self inductance, self inductance and after that mutual inductance and then again we will catch up with this to find out how AC generator work, what are the mechanical parts in AC generator and then we will switch to alternating current. Thank you.